I'm Dr. Stella Emanuel. I'm a primary care physician in Houston, Texas. Perhaps you saw this rather extraordinary you know, um, press conference a few days ago, before it was censored, stripped off social media, and labeled dangerous. This virus has a cure. It is called hydroxychloroquine. That bold proclamation flies in the face of what the World Health Organization, the FDA, and what all the usual TV doctors say about hydroxychloroquine as a treatment for COVID-19. No, it's not a cure for COVID. It's not a preventable for COVID. The overwhelming prevailing clinical trials that have looked at the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine have indicated that it is not effective in coronavirus disease. Guess what? The Katie doctor who made that assertion in the nation's capital Monday, Dr. Stella Emanuel, who runs his clinic off Highway 6. Yeah, she's doubling down. Yes, it eradicates the symptoms. It eradicates the virus. We, we see patients day one, we put them on hydroxychloroquine, they come back day seven, day 10, and they're negative. It eradicates the virus. It is a cure. I don't know why people are getting crazy about this. They think you're dangerous. Of course they think I'm dangerous because I'm speaking truth. I've said it many times. Number one, ask Dr. Anthony Fauci, when's the last time you saw a patient? Emmanuel, born in South Cameroon, was part of an assembly of physicians on the steps of the Supreme Court this week, a group calling themselves America's frontline doctors. Each and every one of them are hell-bent on changing your mind about hydroxychloroquine. I'm Dr. Richard Urso. It's almost vitamin-like in some sense. I mean, it's an incredibly safe drug, and I, I'll say this, safer than Tylenol, for sure, aspirin, and Motrin. Houston ophthalmologist Richard Urso was there too. He's a fan of Dr. Emanuel's, but not her most famous. They're very respected doctors. Uh, there was a, a woman who was spectacular in her statements about it. The president praised Emanuel just this week for endorsing the 70-year-old drug. He backed off a little bit when the whole demon thing came up. There are many categories of street husbands and street wives. Hallelujah. The first kind I will discuss is the hidden one. Dr. Emanuel is also a minister, one with perhaps a slightly different take than most of us are used to. It's off the beaten path to say that demons are sleeping with you overnight. But demons are sleeping with people. Yes. Now I'm curious about the <laughs> demons. I mean, are they physically bodied demons or they, how does why, it work? Why, why would they be called demons if they were physically bodied? I don't know. The doctor is unyielding in her beliefs. And near the end of our interview, after explaining that she's successfully treated close to 400 patients, but has not published that data, the doctor made clear she has no plans to stop prescribing hydroxychloroquine. She even recommended it to our photographer, who, as far as I know, doesn't even have COVID-19. And I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna be silenced. My immediate plan is to pray onto these powers, these diabolic powers that wanna destroy these nations are destroyed. And it's gonna be war. Do you understand me? I'm a warrior, I'm a sniper in the kingdom of God. It's on. Dr. Emanuel at the moment appears to be in good standing with the Texas Medical Board. Most certainly the consensus among the medical community worldwide is that there is currently no cure for COVID-19. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.